everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about how I edit my Instagram pictures and surprisingly I've gotten many requests to do this type of video even though I don't think I edit my pictures in any sort of like extremely special way. Let's just go and jump into the video. This intro took me like literally 30 times to film so we're just gonna go with this one. Before I go into how I exactly edit my pictures, I wanted to talk about Instagram themes which if you have been on the internet or on social media, you kind of know what Instagram themes are and if you don't, I'll just briefly explain what they are and how people use them. The way I think of Instagram themes is that it's just a kind of color palette and a mood that you want your entire Instagram feed to look like or to evoke. For me personally, my Instagram actually goes through many different themes. Um, it actually changes the most when I'm traveling because when you're in a different location, just your surroundings are totally different, the color palettes are different, and I think it's really cool though that you can see kind of the different color palettes and different Instagram themes throughout my Instagram theme. But in general, as you can see right now, I think my Instagram is very white um, and light in terms of exposure. It's not a very dark theme and it's not a warm toned one either, but it's not cool tone. It's kind of just an average temperature. Some people do very saturated themes like this one girl that I freaking, I love her Instagram so much. Her name's Chloe and her theme is very bright as you can see, it's very saturated, but every picture just looks so nice all together and this is just so pretty. And I just love looking at people's Instagrams to gather inspiration for my own and I personally really like mine, I love it so much, I love scrolling through my feed. Honestly, I do this on a daily basis, it's like kind of insane. I think it's really important to kind of have a theme in mind for your Instagram, if that's what you want. Like obviously, not everyone needs to have an Instagram theme. I personally just find it fun to have one. I think it's really cool just because everyone has their own take on how the photo should be edited. The only app that I use to edit my pictures now, I used to have like five or six that I used. Now I only use the one and only VSCO cam. And I have the non-updated version just because I like that VSCO cam it kind of lays out your pictures as it would on Instagram and I know once you update it kind of has spaces and it doesn't look quite as right so I have refused to update but VSCO cam is kind of where I as you can see this is literally my Instagram theme and then I edit pictures to check that everything kind of goes well together and I think I'm going to edit three pictures for you guys today to kind of see how it is going to look and how I get there and my thought process and I sort of have a it's like muscle memory now I literally just go through these steps and it's literally it which is why I didn't know how to make this video entertaining at all but I've already spoken for seven minutes so that's great okay the first picture I'm going to do I'm just going to do this picture it's simple it's a very cute picture if I do see so myself <laughs> but the lighting is okay, it's like not super bright, but you could make it better, you know? So the first thing I do is I always up the exposure. I usually do two and then I'll check if it's too bright, then I'll lower it or I'll increase it, but I think two is fine. And then I'll up the contrast one. And then I usually go to clarity and I go all the way to 12 to see what it'll look like because if you just do it one by one you can't really tell if anything has changed so I like to do clarity all the way to 12 and then I lower it back down so I'll probably do I think three and that's all I do for that and the filter that I use is a six which always adds a lot of exposure to it and warmth so I'm gonna click that and that's what that looks like I'm just gonna adjust it and I really love tapping on the picture to see what it looked like before. So as you can see, the pink kind of went away, but I really wanted to keep the pink. So I think I'm going to also decrease the temperature because it's a little too warm. And then I'm going to increase the saturation. Let's see, I think one should be fine. And then I'm going to see what it looks like with the rest of my theme. 
and I think it should look okay. I don't know if these pictures will be uploaded before that, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Okay, this is the next picture. It's me and my friends. It's a decently lit picture. It's kind of dark, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I do again. So I'm gonna increase the brightness, the exposure a little more. I'm gonna increase clarity because I love the way clarity changes your hair and makes it super bright and like pop out. It looks just like really cool. Okay. And I think that's it. I'm gonna crop it a little actually. There we go. And yeah, now that's what that looks like. And I'll do one more picture for you all. Okay, I'm going to do this picture which is at a coffee shop. And I'm going to go through my same thing. This is literally all I do for all of my pictures. Increase exposure, increase contrast, do a little bit of clarity, and then A6. Sometimes I'll mess around with shadows if it's way too contrasty, but normally it's okay. This one, I don't really like this picture actually with what's surrounding it. I don't like this one either, okay. So this is also what I do. I will bulk edit a bunch of photos and then delete and rearrange them. So I actually don't like this one next to it just because I feel like the theme is more kind of warm toned now. But that's pretty much all I do. I'm sorry if this video was totally boring and totally boring. I wasn't sure how to go about this just because I edit my photos in such a... I don't know, you know, every single photo is different and I just go through them and kind of wing it. I guess bottom line is all I really use is exposure, contrast, clarity, and A6 on VSEO cam. That is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was everything you had hoped for it to be. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what your favorite filter is, if you even edit your Instagram pictures. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will leave my handle right here and you can comment a rose emoji if you came from this video on my recent picture. But with that being said, I'll talk to you guys next Sunday. Bye!